What's up, friend? It's your girl, Kicking with Quill, and I am back with another video, guys. I am back, I am back, and I am back. So, y'all know that I was supposed to be, like, starting my work-from-home job today. And I was actually supposed to start it on the 7th. And, unfortunately, things didn't go as planned with me trying to start my work-from-home job with my equipment. So, I wasn't able to start on the 7th. Like I told y'all before... I got my equipment for my work from home. I got my equipment, my computers and stuff. But yet again, I still haven't received the cord that I actually need for my computers. If it's not one thing, it's another. Like it's always, always something. Okay. So I was supposed to start my training for my computers on the seventh, but my first official day was gonna be on the ninth, which is tomorrow. So when I got my Zoom session yesterday, my onboarding supervisor, she basically knew that I had my I didn't have my cord. So she told me just to still join the Zoom session with everybody else. Because you know everybody else was like all oh, everybody else was like all oh, discombobulated. Some people didn't like have anything at all. Some people didn't even some people only had their monitor screens and stuff and other, but I had everything except my cords, which leads to me not having no signal on my computer. So since I don't have no signal on my computer, then I wasn't able to log in or anything like that. She wanted me to still log in on the Zoom session because so I want to get marked as no call, no show. And you know how they go. Basically, so I want to have to get marked as no call, no show. So she was like, just still log in. I'm going to let them know that you don't have your cord and stuff like that. So I don't, she was like, but you, now I'm saying out of 10, not going to be on the session long because you don't have everything. So... I was supposed to receive my stuff from FedEx. I'm waiting and waiting or whatever like that. The man just was like nine in the morning. So they did tell me like basically when I do receive my stuff that just email me back and let me know this, that, and the other when FedEx come. <clears throat> so FedEx text me. I got the like the alerts on my phone or whatever like that. They text me basically told me, you know, your stuff still coming before 8 p.m. today and all this other stuff. So I'm like, okay, cool. They had two sessions, one for yesterday, one for today, for, you know, my Zoom session for me to, you know, get my equipment. And y'all stay in the apartment building, so all I see is bad ass. And then got my last name on the window. So I'm looking like, I know they ain't gonna wear fat ass, then bring they funky, you know what, to my building after y'all sent out a text message that y'all wasn't gonna come to tomorrow. So that made me miss my delivery because y'all said y'all wasn't gonna come tomorrow so that's why i got out the window so i imagine i never got alerted anything to my phone saying that it was attempted delivery i was heated y'all i'm telling you i was a little bit like i had called them and let them know like you know y'all said that y'all imagine i was on the phone with like five different people like y'all said that y'all wasn't gonna come but then when i get finally decided to get out the window after y'all text me said y'all was gonna come tomorrow which is today why would y'all still come it made me miss my damn delivery. Like, it was so much BS. I finally asked them, can y'all hold my package? Man, y'all said, can y'all hold my package? I will come get it tomorrow. Tomorrow morning. Soon as I drop my son off at school, I will come there to get it. I drop my son off at school, I go to FedEx. So, they said, the only thing you need was your ID, was your ID and... The tracking number, okay, cool, whatever. So I gave her, you know, my ID and my tracking number because I, I called so many times, I knew my tracking number by heart, and I still know the tracking number because I'm still missing some stuff, okay? So, you know, she ran off my, I gave her my tracking number, all this other stuff. She said, Oh, it looks like it's been shipped out on the, it's been shipped out on the delivery truck. I said, Excuse me, like, y'all, I, I imagine I was already pissed. I was livid, okay? I'm like, you said what? It looked like it's been shipped. I said, I looked at the lady. I, y'all, yeah, my, my blood was boiling. You gotta go to the motherfucking back and go get my damn package. Or call that driver because I'm not going nowhere until my package come up. And she was like, the driver looked like the driver had took it out. It looked like they scanned it and said something this morning. I said they should never scan anything because I thought them it was going to be on hold. Like, it's either y'all call this driver back to this facility to bring me my stuff or it's, it's not going to be nothing nice. Because at this point, I'm tired of going back and forth with, it, with them. I am. I mean, I'm I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. That's just how I am. Because at this point, because I'm, 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 I'm fed the fuck up. With, I was fed up with FedEx by this point. So, 
She like, just calm down, just calm down. I'm about to uh, trace it and see where else at and see who scanned it, all this other stuff. So she went to the back and I'm standing there waiting because don't, don't go to that back and come back up with, with, with your hands empty without my package being in your damn hands. Don't, there's going to be a problem. So she went to the back and when she went to the back or whatever, I guess that was like her supervisor or something came up here and she was like, can you look and see who scanned her package or whatever? So she was like, who scanned her package? And she was talking to the lady. So they went to the back. She was like, okay, just calm down. She said, we're going to go to the back and check and see, you know, what is right there, all this other stuff. Okay. I sat there. Some just, some just told me the kind that she said, because I see your pressure rise and I see your, you, yeah, you see me. Because I would get real ghetto up in here, okay? She came back with my boss. And then when I did get home, Speaking up there, that's a FedEx truck right here in front of the school. I'm at the school picking up my son, y'all, and I see a FedEx truck riding past. Oh, I just can't stand them. Oh. And that's that same lady, y'all. That that's the same driver that was over there in my apartment complex when she dropped off my first uh, work from home job. Um stuff. Oh, she pissed me off so bad. But, yeah, when I did get home, of course, was the right equipment. Now you got to make another ticket. Now she had to make another ticket number for me to get the right equipment. I still have to deal with bad ass again because I'm quite sure nine times out of ten, they, they sent out the first work from home equipment that I had last week. Then they sent out this. So I'm sure nine times out of ten, they're going to send this one out again. So basically, I got to get my onboarding welcome letter stuff all over again. So, yeah, because I asked her, like, can I just buy the cord and you know, see, it's a cord. Can I just buy? I'm sure it's not that much. It's not a lot of money. BGA computer cords cost no more than twenty dollars. But we have to use the company cord because the company cord have the name on the on the cord and stuff like that. She told me, and she said either way I go. Basically, if I was to buy the cord, for one, like I said, got the company name on it. But if it didn't have the company name on it, and if I was to buy it, then we still not gonna, I still can't start training until the 21st. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just, so that's another, it's, it is what it is, y'all. So I was just like getting very emotional because it's like, it's always something, y'all. Like, it's always, always something. I got a lot better with me crying when I get emotional because i be crying and then i be so emotional but honey child i pray about it i left i leave got everything in god's hand i'm just like what can be next like it's always something it's like it's always something so i would just like talk to my mama about it this morning and she was just basically like you know at least you got a job and stuff like that and you know just you know, just be patient to the end of the month and you'll be cool. And I'm cool with all of that as well. Like everything is, I'm, you know, just, oh, yeah, it's just so much. I don't know. I just don't understand. I don't. I know I'm going to have me a job already. I know I already got me a job and stuff, but it's like, it's always something like if you at the end of the day it's always something it's always something y'all so it's like dang i was all happy the other day when i uploaded my video of me you know getting my work from home job and stuff like that which i'm still happy i'm at the end of the day i'm still grateful and i'm just i'm still happy but it's like i'm not working i'm still here you know i'm just here but I'm not going to give up. It, it is what it is. At least I got one. I'm just going to have to start and wait. It don't require me to do nothing but grind hard on my channel. That's it. That's all. You know, I just got plenty of time. I've been grinding since I've been off work for my last job. And I refuse to go back to my last job. So my mama was like, go back to your last My what? She like, you want to go back to your last job? No. I'm cool on that. No. I've been cool this whole time since I've been off for my last job. That was what? I got off from that job like... November 9th, 10th, so up and up because my last day was the day I went on a field trip with Junior. So, yeah, I think that was like the 9th or 10th or something, you know, um, of November. But, no, I'm not going back. I've been cool this time, and I ain't, I ain't going back. I really appreciate y'all. Just make sure y'all comment pink cards down below because, you know, just let me know that y'all stay in tune and y'all just, you know, I'm just, make sure y'all comment pink cards down below because that's your girl. Make sure y'all comment pink cross down below because 
just just to let me know that y'all guys you guys watch my channel all the way to the end and also and if y'all enjoy my content also make sure y'all hit that like button hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell so y'all can be notified when your girl come not, when your girl kicking the quickly drop these bangers because they're coming for us in 2022 and that's right period y'all period 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 and i'm gonna see y'all in another video